I'm Scott L. Miller. This is my life living in Leon, Nicaragua. We had some exciting news. We've heard a rumor, but today we actually got the announcement that just yesterday ground is being broken on the, an eight month long project to build a new bus terminal and market here in Sutiava, the barrio of Leon where I live. We're very excited about this. And so there's no way I'm not gonna be going out, finding this and showing it on the show today. You know, we gotta get on that. That's some exciting stuff. It's gonna change everything in this part of the city, no doubt. This is an amazing project. I, honestly, we're super excited about this because it's going to change traffic and everything else. So we're going to go out to the community of Fanner Uros at the airport, and we're going to seek out where this new bus station and market are so we can bring that to you and uh, keep you up to date over the next eight months as this project unfolds. I'm excited to show you guys how quickly a project actually happens. I'm taking a gamble by saying that and uh, how impactful it's going to be to this community and the entire area. I'm gonna cover all the reasons we think it's super exciting when we get back right after that bump. All right, Scott here. We're in the middle of the Ponoloya Road. I've got Las Panitas behind me. Leon is back this way. We're gonna walk over here. I'm gonna show the sign. You can see the sign here says, Leon up the street and the Aeropuerto Godoy is down this way, and that's where we're going to be headed. This is 6th Street, so I'll show. We have this road behind me, which goes straight. And then as we walk forward, it's a little bit hard to show angles on the because the lens and everything, but this is very much a diagonal road behind me. This is 6th Street. We're going to walk up there, and we got... I haven't even been up there yet, so we're, I'm hoping we got something cool to show you. We're going to go explore what's going on with the new bus terminal and market and everything else right up there. So let's get up there. All right, I am up here on 6th Street. I'm just about to show you guys the interesting stuff, but I'm going to read from the news release that came out yesterday. So I'm just reading the news release. We are presenting the new market and bus terminal of Sutiava, Leon, Nicaragua. This will be located at the north side of the Godoy Airport in the Sutiava Indigenous People. The new market, which will cover construction of 14,122 square meters, will have 224 commercial modules. These will offer a variety of products and services, including packs. That's when you bring in uh, large um, uh, pallets of, of products from abroad and then sell them so often in variety stores. It's referred to as packs here. Uh, fruit, vegetables, meats, groceries, barbershops, beauty salons, dairy, pharmacy, and veterinary. In addition, hardware stores, tortilla sales, plastic stores, and clothing stores. The project will also include a perimeter enclosure for facility and user safety, external facade, external walkways. There will be a visitor parking area, health services, administrative offices. In addition to the health unit, ornamentation, surveillance boxes, hydrosanitary works in modules, and an electrical and lighting system. It will also feature a metal galoon for bus parking. The project will be developed over a period of eight months beginning on June 21st, 2024. All right. So our sources say, our source being the government, that work on the new bus terminal started yesterday, June 21st. I'm recording this on the 22nd and you should be seeing it on the 23rd. I thought I was gonna have to walk a lot farther. They didn't give an exact location of where everything was going, but uh, I found it much earlier. They said it was north of the airport. I assume the east side of the airport. It's actually at the west side of the airport, which is where I started. So I'm right at the corner. Technically I'm at the fields west of the airport. It's like the crash zone. So if a plane comes down hard from the, from the runway, they have like fields instead of houses there's always fields at the end of runways in case you never notice why that is that is why and i'm at those fields so they're like the fields owned by the airport is is my understanding all right let me get some better light here so i'm right in the triangle where sixth street that's the one i'm on goes into the ponaloya road this is the first open space. If you've watched my videos in the past, you're gonna immediately know where I am. Of course, we're gonna take a moment right now. That map's gonna come up. We're gonna give you an exact pinpoint. So there's no question what's going on. And we're not ambiguous out here at all. So the work was supposed to start yesterday and it is clear that it has. The ground is all recently torn up. So we're gonna show you, but we're gonna start with where we are. So you've seen the map. That is uh, Cerro de Oro in the background. Mario is gonna help me when he's back, which I think is next month. We're definitely making a point of going and exploring Cerro de Oro. That's gonna be fantastic. I've done several videos about it and have shown a lot of it, but I've never gotten to take you guys up it. So we're doing that uh, coming up sometime soon. The last time that I filmed 6th Street, now there's a couple things. I've been saying 6th Street, which comes north of the airport. You just saw the map, so you know where we are. 
should be, needs to be, this is my vision for Leon, all the city planners, they need to understand, 6th Street needs to be the southern bypass. This needs to be the main road coming through Leon, south of downtown. Because currently, Ruben Dario, or the Punaloi Road back there, is two-way through Sutiava, but when it hits the Leon barrier, it's, it's westbound only, it's one way, and that creates a lot of problems for traffic. So everyone routes through 1st, 2nd, and 4th, which are really tiny surface streets going through the middle of the barrios. Major problems. 6th Street also does currently go through the barrios, but only part of the way. So first of all, it is a major road out where it comes into uh, the, the southeastern point of, of Leon. So it's the perfect spot. There's a million flies because this was, we're going to explain what this was just a couple days ago. Uh, where it comes into Leon is at the southeastern point near the Ruben Dario Park, near Unan and all that stuff down there. So 6th Street pops out past all the stuff. All the other roads, you have to come in and then wind through Guadalupe to get to that point and then go out of the city. So 6th is the first street and the most major street and one of the only ones that has the possibility of coming all the way through southern Leon and bypassing all of the barrios and all of the little twisting side streets. So you have to use 6th Street or completely redesign the city. But 6th Street is kind Kind of a mess, although it definitely just got improved yesterday. But they need to make this the best road in this in the city, not just good enough to pass through. But it was nearly impassable over the last couple of years. When I first drove this uh, years ago, it, nine years ago, uh, all of it was great until you got way down there, and then the car couldn't make it through. I have a famous story about that. Famous one of my stories of living in Nicaragua is about that. But that is that's so Sixth Street's got to be done. I know you guys are looking forward to the real, the real news here. Um, but if the if Sixth Street coming past the airport is upgraded, then you can completely fix all the traffic downtown, or nearly all the traffic downtown, and route everyone past the airport and past the new bus terminal that is coming in starting yesterday. So two days ago. All of this, everything that isn't a house here, and I've shown this on the video before, so this should not come as a surprise for those who've been watching. This was all an above ground landfill that was always on fire. Always. It was a disaster. I mean, they had to do it somewhere because that's that's what we have here in Leon. This is where our trash would be delivered. Everyone's trash in the region is delivered here, and it was just piled, piled up. So that's why there's a lot of flies on me here because there's still obviously some amount of the trash is still here but this has just been graded the bulldozers are just here there's still dogs here they're like where'd our trash go and the signs are up and the first bricks are here so this is exciting this is what was on the news was these pictures and here it is, so I'm standing in the middle of what is going to be the future Sutiava. So Marcadito, that we show a bit, and we're gonna keep showing, it's been on the show a lot, and we talk about it all the time, that is moving. We heard a few weeks ago a rumor that it was moving here, and it really is. So this is going to be where the market is. It's really just a couple blocks. We're extremely close to where the old one is. It seems like we're far away because of just the way things are. We're behind all the buildings on the Ponaloya Road. Uh, so a lot of the places we show all the time, these are the backs of them right over here. Like that's, and then this is the start of uh, Fanner Uros, which goes north of the airport that way which we've done walking tours of all the streets of that previously. So it's a great location here. It has beautiful field, fields across the street, which you can't really see too much. And uh, I'm not sure what, some kind of, oh, there's a person over there yelling at a dog or something. And, uh, and you have this wide open road. It's on 6th. It's got the beautiful views of Cerro de Oro. It's really easy to get on the Pona Lawyer Road that way, really easy to get to downtown Leon that way, uh, and, and really easy for access from Sutiava a couple different ways. This is honestly a fantastic location, and, they, and it really is something that's needed here. And so the goal is, and I can't believe how big this is going to be, but when I'm looking at the space, this is quite big, that it's going to be a bus terminal, that it's going to be uh, this, this market and it's gonna have all these resources here right in this space. This is, this is truly exciting for those of us who live out here. This is gonna revitalize the area. It's gonna mean we can easily walk to get buses from the west side of the city. We haven't been able to do that. We're gonna be able to do shopping in an indoor shopping, like a nice new market, not the old one. It's not gonna block the road. It's gonna make the main Pona Lawyer Road like literally able to handle triple the traffic it can handle now. And then when this road opens up, because it must be opening up, it's going to be able to handle uh, the same amount of traffic. So in theory, we could be going to 
four to six times the total cross city traffic capabilities that we have today. So that means people going out to Ponoloya, people going out to Las Pinitas, people who are going out to all the communities along that road, and just people moving around Sutiava. Now my personal theory, and I think this makes sense, I mentioned it to some people and they're like, oh my gosh, that has to be the case, is that the airport, which is right over here, is suddenly going to have its own bus station. That's better than any of the other uh, airports in the country. None of them have that kind of transportation right there at the airport. So this, I would not be surprised. So currently this airport has like two crop dusters at it. That's it. And nothing else. You can't use it for anything. It's too small. But, a, but it's a working airport. And, and there are crop dusters that come out of it. So with just the tiniest updates, this could become an important regional airport. Leon is the second largest city in the country. And we're decently far away from Managua. So we don't need to have 747s come in here or anything, especially since they don't make those anymore, but like big jets like that. We don't need big commercial jets. What we need is one and two prop like, like uh, Cessnas and, and uh, you know, um, uh, King Airs and those kinds of things, right? Very reasonable small things, things that are operated by Sansa, things that are operated by Taka and just fly. It would be amazing if this flew to Liberia in Costa Rica, even better to San Jose. And it would be amazing if it flew to uh, San Salvador and even better to Guatemala City. Um, but if it just did those hops, if that's all it did, and then obviously probably to Managua, maybe the Corn Islands, a couple really simple, it doesn't even have to be every day, hops on a prop out of this airport back here could turn this whole thing into this major, major area with, with people flying in and out for, for vacation stuff, coming in from other countries, hitting the buses and having public transportation to the whole country and having access to the beaches. All things that are super unique out here and would be absolutely amazing. And all it would take is a little upgrade at the airport. And of course you have to convince a few airlines to come in, but some of those like Sansa have been flying in and they were like coming into Esmeralda, but now that Esmeralda isn't really taking those flights, having them come here instead would be absolutely amazing. So that is kind of my hope that Sixth Street gets upgraded with this, which it seems like it is. It's already better as, as bad as it is right now. This is better than it was a week ago. And, uh, and this, I'm just, this is exciting. So this is really cool news for us here on the channel. And uh, it's right in the middle of the area that I live in. So like we're Sutiava people uh, and this is our community. Um, so this is bigger for us than for most people. Like, you know, almost all of our friends, the ones that live on the beach, they're gonna be like, okay, the market's a little bit better. They're gonna be thrilled about the improvement in traffic. Well, that's about it. And like Alan and Anna, they live all the way across the city. They live past the point where Sixth Street will come out to the point. So. To them, this is completely meaningless, unless maybe they're gonna take public transportation across the city, which they don't really do, they have their own bike. Um, and most people are gonna take taxis, right? Most expats aren't gonna be affected by this, but those of us who live in Sutiava, expats or Sutiavans, this is an amazing upgrade to our community, very exciting, and hopefully just eight months until this is open. So we're gonna be showing this. This is, I'm gonna be on top of this, showing every step of the way, because unlike other projects in the city that I'm far away from, I can just pop out of the house and walk over here, get a little bit of exercise and show this. So we are going to be on it for you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. I'm glad you were able to come out. We're really excited to see this new market and bus station coming in. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller, as we show on the screen. As always, like, subscribe, share on social media, tell someone about the show, and we will see all of you tomorrow. All right, we're going to pop some videos up on the screen. If you would just do the needful, click on one of those videos. That would be awesome. Action that for me if you would not mind. And if one of those doesn't strike your fancy, scroll down, check out one of the YouTube recommendations, and click on one of those. Have a good one, everybody.